Moranga, you know Moranga, referral hospital. But that is 1946. And when I was born, four days later, my dad, George Kegondu, was the next ward, died. So we never met. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. One year, uh, my mom, Emily Wakiro, from Mokoro Nyeri, got sick and died. So I was orphaned at one year. I was taken by my auntie, Yeshiko, back to Kiamba. After uh, I, I joined uh, the Mbigwa Primary School, we were next to the Mau Mau torturer, Mr. Gold. How the big were banana hill? That is where many people are killed just over my window in the classroom. We were then shifted to the new Zimbigwa, where it is now, because it was torturesome. Now, I did my school standard eight examination, and it was called Kenya Preliminary Examination. And that was in 1961, and I passed. However, let me tell you, <laughs> people, the colonial government, even after giving us Uhuru, knew there were no high schools. There was nowhere to go to. My certificate of 1961 reads, Kenya Colony and Protectorate. But there was no high school to go to. Why I used to come Nairobi here, and uh, I used to see white men and other people, and I used to like the, how the colonial people were doing their things. I wanted to go to the schools where the whites only went to. Instead of going to Prince of Wales, I applied to Lenana or the Duke of York. Yeah. And... <laughs> Voila, there you are. 1962, I didn't go to anywhere. But the headmaster who was there, Mr. Lang, from Rhodesia, evad that categorically he could not receive any African child. That's 1962. So I went to North School. 1963, my sister... Recho Washera Wakarivi decided that I start high school. She took me to City High School. Afternoons only for Form 1. <laughs> and where was I coming from? Makadush. Makadara, as you see, that's Don Home. <laughs> Does that sound funny? Donham Road was up to St. Stephen's. There was called Makongeni. The rest was Route 11, Makadush, Walk. However, uh, that was 1963, and uh, to be a bit brief, uh, we got independence in 1963, and that night, every child... This, or the child of the soil, son of the soil, daughter of the soil of Kenya, can go to any school in Kenya. Because previously, they were Asian schools, white schools, I mean, uh, uh, white only schools, and African schools. Now, I say that because the Africans, the, 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 the primary schools here in Nairobi, six, seven of them belong to the whites. You know them. Westlands, Karenbi, Mudaiga, St. George's, where else? Lovington. Uh, Lovington. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nairobi <laughs> Primary, where it was Kilimani. Hospital. Hospital. When 
when in 1963 we go to Hur, I went to a city high school because Kenyatta decided anybody can join there. I sure I decided that that was a day school, and walking to Makadara was no joke. I decided I I had applied Duke of York, and I got a letter from Mr. Higson, which said, you, "You you can come to us." Mr. Lang fled to Rhodesia, <laughs> and I went straight to Mr. Uh, Debea Technical High School. And he said, you mean you wanted to go to Duke of York? Of course. And one call to, to Mr. Hickson gave me my blessings that you are now welcome to come to, for interview, Duke of York School. And so I did. I, I wrote a, a school lorry at the general post office. Then I went to, uh, when I went to Duke of York, Mr. Higson told me, Andrew, sit down, and then you do, I did, I did interview for mathematics and uh, geography, just to see whether I, I could do anything. <laughs> when I was in office, his office, the telephone rang, rang. And I decided, this, it looks ridiculous, this phone is ringing, I picked it up, I said, yeah. Uh, I'm in Mr. Hickson's office. He's going to collect my mathematic papers. And I'm joining this school soon. God. When he came, he asked, Andrew, what are you doing? Well, I'm telling them what was happening. You went, you went to bring my papers. And I'm here. And, uh, okay, okay. I did that because we had the Huru now. So, why not answer the phone? Oh. Anyway, I did my exam and I wasn't sure whether I would be taken, but Mr. Hickson was very kind because he said Lang is going back to Rhodesia and he asked me, Andrew, those are the blazers. Just pick the one you want and let me know about your... You can't pay, of course. <laughs> I was given bursary. And when I joined Duke of York, I was the only boy who joined Moturi Mwangi Kioi. Moturi Mwangi Kioi. We were two blacks. 1965. From three. And they were surprised. I became top of 3C. And <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Do you know who, gave, who presented trophy to me? Sir Charles Jonjo. 45. And he told me, Andrew, I know you will come and join my law firm, but I wish you luck. Anyway, I didn't become a lawyer, but the next 1966, we were only two boys, and we did the exam, and it passed with flying colors. I thought I had succeeded <laughs> going to the best school, most auspicious school you can think of. But I was not prepared. I had not been prepared the, to face the racism and calabar because I was really thugged up by the, those white, uh, white boys especially. One time, I fought one of them and I was to be expelled. But funny enough, uh, not funny enough, but uh, when I was in school, I was the only rapporteur coordinator with our third vice president, Joe Morumbi. I was in touch with Joe Morumbi, Dr. Keanu, uh, Robea, Nigel Slade, Humphrey Slade, all these people. They said, I need not to be expelled because of fighting. But another fight came. I was immersed in uh, Brooklands, <laughs> Brooklands stream. Duke of York, we have a stream called Brooklyn. I nearly died. But <laughs> 10 boys were thugging, beating me up. I decided to go like Mike Tyson with one of them. I beat him so hard. So hard. And that was that. But Mr. Westwell, who was the second deputy, said, we were Zungu. 
He called the all Africans there. He said, this is ridiculous. Africans are here. They bite. We don't bite. We fight. Now, oh, oh the difference. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ati? Ati? Po? Now, after that, uh, Duke of York, 1966, we did, uh, uh, all of us, and two of us did with flying colors with Joe Mwangi Kiyoi, and we were allowed to continue to go to our school certificate, A-levels. A-levels, we did very well, but I didn't make it to this University of Nairobi. I joined the Ministry of Works, Mr. David Mutiso, and I decided, oh, I was, uh, they opted that I go to Kenya Polytechnic to do a diploma con- course in buildings, construction, and uh, civil engineering. Thank you very much, but listen. <laughs> when I was there, when I was there, <laughs> I went on with some fights and confusions, <laughs> temperament, and that, that does not make a good engage. <laughs> I was made to repeat uh, the, my old uh, by diploma course uh, about two years, and by 1960, uh, 1974, I thought that's enough. That's enough. I can't pass. So what do I do? I hung up, I resigned, and I bought a Nikon and started photography. And I went on to Kenya Meat Commission. When I went to Kenya Meat Commission, I decided that I might have to, I might, I might as well have my family because I was an orphan. So, my lovely Elizabeth, Wairibu, <laughs> Wa Mushara, we decided to get married, 1973. And next month, 31st March, we will be celebrating our 50th golden opportunity. 